Hey folks, Technoverse here. Today I'm going to give you my review of the Anet A8 Plus, so stay tuned. So right off the bat, let me tell you that I've had both some joys and some agonies while printing with this printer. A couple of simple things that turned out to be not so simple and actually really good results once I figured those things out. So first and foremost, let's talk about the hot end on this thing. Uh, I am not the biggest fan of the system they use for the hot end. I do enjoy the direct drive that works great, especially for the size and the way they have the spool set up up top. Unfortunately, the throat in there is a little bit difficult to deal with at times. Now, that may seem a bit petty. And keep in mind, when they sent me these printers, they sent them to me as returns, and I knew full well that that's what they would be. And with that in mind, I do indeed thank them for the handout. I have no complaints. Uh, this machine, however, out of the box, immediately was causing me some problems. It turns out it's not a problem with the actual machine itself. It's a problem with the last guy who put it together and then took it apart and put it back in the box. Now, uh, the throat in here was separated into two different sections. And I was pretty sure that it should just be one but I attempted to put it together because the hot end had come assembled. I didn't discover this until I had trouble printing after putting the rest of the machine back together. Um, when I finally got everything apart, I realized that the throat had been snapped. Uh, I suspect while moving and, and changing pieces around or during the initial installation process and that's why they sent it back and it wasn't working for them. So uh, they did send me two of these machines. So. The other one is over there. I was reluctant to put that one together just when I first opened the box. It looked like one of the lead screws was bent, but I got frustrated with this guy and I wanted to see the hot end on that one. And it turns out it is just supposed to be one piece. So uh, that being said, I do need to get another throat for this guy. It's gonna end up costing me about 20 bucks. But the ANET A8 Plus that I have over here runs and runs spectacularly. So right now, I'm gonna show you some of the footage that I have of some of the things that I've printed while we go over some of the specs for this machine. All right, so let's talk some specs. This Anet A8 Plus is your standard FDM or FFF fused deposition modeling 3D printer. It runs 1.75 millimeter filament and it has a 300 by 300 by 350 build size. Now that is quite substantial, especially in comparison to something such as the Ender 3. It runs a USB B port for prints from or prints from the micro SD card, and it has a slightly slower max travel speed of 120 millimeters per second. This is because this is a direct drive machine, so the extruder is mounted directly to the hot end. The recommended layer thickness is 0.1 to 0.4, which is about par with the Ender 3, and the nozzle diameter is 0.4 millimeters. Uh, said to be a pretty sized machine, only off by 0.1 millimeters in either direction and so far from my testing I've seen some pretty accurate prints. So let's take a look at some of the test prints and how they came out on this printer. I was actually really pleased with some of the models that were on here. Uh, there were a couple really interesting ones. One of them just says figure and then you print it uh, and it turns out it's a bust of Shia LaBeouf which I thought was funny. This is a little chess piece here. Forgive the waving. I'm working on my editing. Uh, there's Shia, uh, which I thought as it printed the name, I was like, no way. And then it printed the bust and I'm just laughing to myself. There were actually several models on here. There was also this sweet step pyramid model. Uh, and then there was this other one that is basically, I think a toothbrush cup. It's listed as a brush barrel or something like that. And I think another one or two that I actually didn't get around to printing, but uh, let's take a look at that brush barrel real quick. This one came out really nice. Kind of a creepy looking bear guy holding the heart on it. And then it's got this inlaid scroll work all the way around it that uh, it's hard to do justice to with the camera and the lighting here. So it's a little bit better close up of three of the models that we have. You can see Shia there in the front. And then that scroll work I was talking about on this glass here to the left. A little bit better detail of the top of the chess piece here. So. Uh, it is inscribed with what is, I, I believe, is a Chinese symbol. It's probably uh, one of the one of the words for the piece that this represents in chess, I would assume. So um, there's the step pyramid again. I'm going to give you guys 
but one more shot of the three other models together real quick and there you go it's not too bad so uh, quality on this guy everything was coming out really fast um, these were the first models I printed I have since had some better quality items come out after dialing it in a little bit you saw the multi print I did a few minutes back there was a video of that where I was printing one item at a time on the large build plate which worked out really nice as well and then um, the video just prior to that was a PETG print and that came out superb also just off the sheer size and speed alone, I'm going to give this guy a 4 out of 5. I do have that one complaint about the hot end, but it can be easily fixed. And I could easily swap it out with another hot end that I have on hand, but I don't feel like making a bracket for it. I'll just replace that throat piece. Uh, that being said, I did want to show you guys a couple more prints that I did. This is a PETG. This is the base for a, another model that I'm printing as well. Uh, basically just a stand. It's going to clip into there. Uh, but that was nice to to make to it basically utilized almost all of the larger build space on this printer Which was nice and then uh, if you've seen my channel, you've seen this guy before uh, I hate this thing. I hate this model I have tried to print this so many times without getting a decent or acceptable one I did get one decent one out of I believe the alloy 910 from Tallman um, but it wasn't quite rigid enough and that's because it was a nylon so it didn't really hold up uh, this one though printed freed the gears move it came away from the bed this is hands down my favorite print I've said it before that printing this without having to make a ton of adjustments to the settings on the printer is a good indication of precision and tolerance and this is, as I say, my holy grail. If you can throw this on your printer and print it without problems, your settings are pretty well dialed in. So I'm very, very happy with the Anet 8 Plus. Very excited to get the other one up and running. And in fact, I'm so pleased with it. That's one of the reasons that I decided not to change out the hot end entirely, even though it did frustrate me a little bit to begin with. So I'm going to return it to stock because I do enjoy how it's working so far. So if you get the chance to try one of these printers, definitely check it out. I'll put a link down below to a couple of places where you can find them. There will be affiliate links for Amazon and Banggood, as well as a direct link to the Anet page itself. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like on this video, and please feel free to share this review out to all of your favorite social media, whether it be Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, any of that. We always appreciate the extra help, and feel free to comment down below. Feedback is always welcome too. Don't forget to visit our main channel page. If you do, you'll see that we made a lot of changes recently, including the green screen background, which has come into play in a few of our videos. And yeah, we're just kind of having fun with it. So stick around, ring that bell to get notifications for all the future videos we put up. Lots more printer and other tech reviews on the way. And I've got a few things in the pipes that I think you'll be very pleased and excited to see coming up down the road. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it from my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a Technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.